Hello everybody, Vaskus here with a brand new video. Today I want to show you how to create a big and an efficient industrial area. I was creating for the last couple of days this very very big industrial area. I used almost every single big factory that you can have in this game and I want to show you how big this is really. Here we have my city. If you didn't watch, I have two episodes about the city and this whole thing here is my industrial area. As you can probably see, we have some forest, we have some factories, warehouses and uh, let me start from the beginning. I want to have a big industrial area that is efficient, that is really packed densely and uh, I created something like this. Here we have the first area of my industrial uh, part. We have the raw material. Here we have the oil industry and we have the ore industry. And everything that is being produced on this part of the industrial area is being moved on here to the refining area. Here we have big factories to refine and store uh, our oil and uh, our ore. Here we are producing fuel, plastics, we have some factories and we have exporting with the cargo terminal. Also we have some warehouses and uh, a modern parking garage. <laughs> uh, and here we are producing uh, metals, storing the ore and uh, glass, another glass factory. Here we are producing plastics, petroleum and uh, we are using it to create fuels. So I want to have something that is densely packed, close and has a really good potential for the exporting. So I didn't focus on the traffic very much. I will show you, I think it's around 70%. Yeah, it's around 70%, uh, but I can fix probably this for 10% more. Uh, but that's going to be on the next video. Today I'm fully focused and showing you why I created something like this and why I think it's working. Uh, I have here and here you can probably see this is the main highway that is connected and my entire industry is really really good connected to the highway. I mean we have uh, in here entrances on this side are another roundabout in and out uh, big interchange here uh, and this is connected for this part so really really important thing is to connect this industry very good uh, so let's continue <laughs> uh, hopefully you're staying and watching this because I have so much to show you here uh, again uh, raw material here we have producing a very expensive material fuel, we are producing plastic, metal, petro petroleum and we are producing glass and metals. And let's go to this part here. Again, we have another producing with glass, with petroleum, with plastics and we have some storing facilities for the oil and for the ore storage. Uh, as you can see, this is connected with coupler roads and we have uh, another train uh, cargo here. So let's go to our uh, forestry. Here we are producing wood for our industry because here, let me just show you, uh, this is the area where we are producing all of things in the factories. So let's see the uh, forestry industry. Uh, we have two cargo terminals with the train. Uh, I wanted to have exporting uh, the material very good. So it's densely packed, very, very densely packed. Here you can probably see after the forestry industry is finished, uh, it's moving to the industrial part. I want to have it uh, very realistic and uh, there is a lot of factories, a lot of warehousing uh, going here. So this hole here is the forestry industry. Now we're moving here. You can probably see the traffic is really, really packed. <laughs> here we are producing paper on two big uh, factories. Here we are storing some uh, wood uh, product produce uh, or the excess wood we can't spend here. We have some factories that are packed here densely and they are constantly being upgraded. There's a lot of uh, 
warehousing on this part for storing the material uh, because I'm producing so much and here we have the first uh, shipyard or the first big factory on the this uh, on this part uh, I wanted to have it like this something like the railroad is crossing and they can move all, all of the goods in and out and here we are producing ships we are using all of the materials that are needed and they are producing really close here they can be moved with uh, train or with trucks it's really really close so that was my goal again we have a lot of buildings over here that are storing all of the goods that we need to produce uh, ships plastic glass metals and timber it's all stored on these uh, couple of warehouses and all of these guys are can use that so here I want to create something like a part of the port where we have some storage uh, where we have stacks of the ship uh, containers I mean for me, it's it's looking really nice. Hopefully, you will like it too. Uh, let's continue here. We have the first uh, cargo hub here that is connected with uh, our city here and with train stations. All of that we have here, it's all connected. So we have the first one here and the second one here, and we have, as you can see, probably the cargo train. All it's connected. Uh, so here we have industrial steel plant we are producing steel produce and uh, again we have some uh, warehousing here that is storing all of the materials needed for this factory to produce uh, constantly the metal produce the steel produce so again I used some of the space to create uh, a bit of the industrial area so let's see here, I want to have something behind my steel plant, like we are exporting our metals with cargo trains and we have the, the big cranes over here and uh, for me it's looking realistic, maybe not the biggest scale but uh, this is what I had this uh, space <laughs> to fill. So again uh, we are having our uh, industry on this part as well this part is really really packed we have our household plastics we have uh, warehousing we have a big two big warehouses that are storing materials that are needed on this part because we are producing electronics we're producing household plastic and we are producing furniture and I think toy factory we have a couple of big factories that are packed really really close and the reason why I wanted to do this because I can store a lot of materials on one place and I can export really really easily with uh, my cargo or with a train over here or over here so it's really really packed and it's working guys um, maybe <laughs> you can probably see the money uh, that was not important for me let's see something I think I'm spending too much money on the roads on some different uh, things that probably not needed you can see here the the metro and the boats and the train are using a lot of money and uh, you can see minus 30,000 so let's see here the income of the industry we are earning from everything we don't have the fishing industry set up yet and the farming uh, I didn't set up that but you can see that 57% of my income and now you can see 67 uh, 77,000 uh, of weekly earnings so this is really really good now it's growing again 74 to 80,000 uh, let's see the industry I want to show you the close-ups I mean this is something that we are having on the real life and uh, the goal again was to create a big industry efficient industry to have all the materials produced uh, from the raw material to the finished product on a really really close proximity so I think I did it uh, the next thing for this part is maybe to fix the traffic because this street here 
uh, is really, really a problem. I know that because of the forestry industry, but I created, uh, we have, let me just show you the tunnel over here that is connected. And we have another street from uh, this part here, but for some reason they don't want to use it very much <laughs> because of my two big factories that are placed here on the main road. So yeah, that's it for the industry part. I'm hoping that you like the video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more of this uh, City Skylines videos, of course. So yeah, I don't have much to say more. <laughs> uh, if you like the video, like it comments what uh, can I do differently or what do you do what will you do to create this industry different so uh, you're free to comment uh, like the video subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching see you on the next video bye everybody